Hi, David Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete. This is part four of a multi-part series. Today, in this video, we're going to be concentrating on the bullnose poured in place cap. We've already did the planner with a wood grain finish, raised planner. We did the stamped patio, Belgian slate. Now we're going to focus on how to do bullnose poured in place on top of an existing wall or planter or whatever it might be. Right here, this particular kit that I've got of styrofoam is three and a half inch high um, bull nose radius. I'm gonna bull nose both sides inside and out. It has an adhesive at the bottom of those form, foam boards or foam forms. And I'm gonna strip the adhesive off, at least the tape off of the adhesive, and then just stick them to the uh, edge of the concrete. Those nails, mason nails that I drove into the concrete just to hold these wires temporarily they have a break point on them so that when you get ready to strip this foam to finish the concrete you twist the wire and it snaps off inside the concrete a portion of that wire will stay in the concrete forever those nails will act as somewhat hold the cap in place from ever falling off of the wall but we will be drilling in um, some Owens Corning 3 8 inch rod fiberglass. It's the pink bar. We'll drill those in as well. And because it is a cold joint, it won't matter if water gets in there because the Owens Corning doesn't rust. Also, we're going to be laying one Owens Corning bar all the way around within the pour. And we'll drop those in after we put the concrete in. Um, we're going to be using a vibrator on this pour as well. Once we put it in, in, start shoveling in. We're going to wheelbarrow this and then shovel it into the forms. And then we'll hit it with the uh, DeWalt vibrator. And we will be doing a sand wash and we'll do it you know, same day. We are pouring the side yard at this house simultaneously with this pour. But you won't see the side yard pour. You're going to only see the cap on this one in this video. I got one box. These are eight foot long and there's ten of them in there. So I had 80 feet. And I had exactly enough. I got lucky. One box was just enough to wrap both sides of this. I think I had about six inches left. So I was lucky I didn't make any bad cuts. Because if I had made a mistake on any of this foam, I wouldn't have had enough. So that's what it looks like when you're ready to pour concrete. There's the Owens Corning drilled in. Nice and tight, 3 8 inch hole, 3 8 inch rods. Pounded in with a little sledgehammer. Here's the concrete, and this is pebble. Has the pebble color from Davis mixed into the concrete same as everything else we've poured at this job site here's the DeWalt cordless vibrator in those Owens Corning bars we're gonna drop those in and just kinda push them down into the concrete Oh, the, the adhesive came loose right there in that one spot at the bottom. So I had to push it up and in a little bit. But we got it covered pretty quickly. Now this is about hour and a half, two hours later. We're pulling off the forms.
So I have a special tool that we're using that matches this. Juan's gonna run the styrofoam. He just cut a chunk of styrofoam, wrapped some duct tape around it, and he's gonna run that first just to acts as a float to kind of cream it up. And then I'll run the steel right behind him. Now this is actually upside down. Now if you had a bottom, you know, concrete going down, then you'd flip this over and then you could finish potentially um, a couple inches vertically below this bull nose. But because I don't have to worry about that, I can run it either way and it doesn't really matter because all it is is a three and a half inch. So Tyler's twisting the little wires and they're snapping off inside. He's pulling those out. And then we have another person pulling the foam right behind him. Then uh, it's a process. Now at this point, when you get to this stage here, you could stamp it if you wanted to. You could broom it. You could trial it a couple more times make a smooth finish but what we're going to do is make it smooth with the trowels let it dry a while then we're going to start rinsing with water and give it a sand wash look to match the uh, landings outside the porch outside the doors and below this port in place cap we have the wood grain finish on vertically and then we have stamp on the patio everything's the same color now I just grab some caution tape to kind of butter up these edges Some caution tapes are better than others too for this. Like they make some uh, thicker ones and thinner ones. The thicker ones will probably be better so you can get a lot more lineal feet out of uh, one piece before they wear out. Now here's the sand wash procedure and I did this also on the landings outside the cider doors and that was within part two of this series. Now we're on part four here. You could hit this with some top casts at this point and then come back the next day if you wanted to but I like to um have more control in the outcome and uh, take care of it while it's still um, fresh. Because sometimes when you put that top cast, you come back the next day, it doesn't all come off. I've found. So this way you can guarantee that you're gonna get it pretty uniform. That styrofoam, a lot of the pieces of the styrofoam, uh, for whatever reason, got into the uh, concrete. Little chunks of it here and there. But you know, I found a really great way to get them out. I just, see those little white speckles? I just hit them with a blowtorch and it melts them out. You never even know they were there. I'm not going to even put any cuts in this, like for crack control, because it, it's just so solid. I just don't think it's going to go anywhere. 
it's not going to move because I got two half inch bars in that raised planter and it's 18 inches below grade so with a 10 by 10 footing so that thing's not cracking anytime soon anyway that wraps up that part stay tuned for the next part because it's a beauty as well uh, hit the subscription button hit the no notification bell that way you'll be notified as soon as we upload have a good one